Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. Gemini, this is going to cover the, the week, November 22nd to the 30th. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, Gemini, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. I am using the Thelema for you guys. Gemini, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I would so much appreciate that. Gemini. I have to put these right here so I don't forget you guys. The last three signs I forgot to pull Romance Angels. Wow. Unbelievable. All that shuffling and who the heck did I just do? Libra got the same card as their central issue. Nine of Cups emotionally being very, very happy. Emotional wishes and dreams coming true. Wow. Ten of Cups. Marriage. Family. Your relationship, recent past, seven of wands, crowning you, Aries, Taurus, male, and the page of wands. If you've definitely, if you've been dealing with, a, well, a fire sign, male, Aries, or you could be dealing with a younger Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, there, for some of you, there could be two people here, one younger, one older, but all of this seems to be family for me. The Emperor, the Page of, of Wands, one of your, being one of your children, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups. I mean, there is some really emotional happiness here. You know, with the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, some of you literally could have just gotten married. Some of you do have exciting communication coming through. Whether it's an older or a younger man, if it's just one person, it, it's an old, it's an Aries or Taurus male you know that has this passionate exciting driven energy and they are persevering this is in the past like they've won with the seven of wands you've reached your goal with the nine of cups staring right at the seven of wands you know there's no more defensive energy you know, they, this is you definitely feeling strong, or this uh, this other person is. Let's clarify it. Uh, the after tarot. These are you know what comes next. I use these on Facebook Live like every week. They're amazing. I think Interesting. This definitely could be a couple. If you're a Gemini with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart, this is definitely your spouse, your partner, this Aries, Taurus, male. You probably have children together or a child, but you're so happy. And interestingly enough, you're all like 
there's a lot of fiery energy here. Let me look at this Nine of Cups again. Generosity, give and take. Let me see the Ten of Cups. As you know, the Ten of Cups could be that facade. Well, three cards fell out. Interesting. The Six of Cups could have been someone that is coming back from your past. You know, they're all excited, passionate, but maybe a little bit defensive. And listen, the Seven of Swords and this Fool card, this is absolutely this person from the past coming back, taking a huge risk, a whole leap of faith, but they're doing it. And again, you have Aries here. I'm not seeing this as liar, cheater, thief. It's a, He's a risky energy. He's not trying to get away with anything. Or if he was... That's over. What's the Page of Wands? And it, 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 the, the Seven of Swords is a risky energy. Someone going at it alone. With the Fool, this is de definitely someone taking a risk on going back to the past. Their family. Reconciliation. What's the Page of Wands? Page of Wands. Well, another page. Well, the same page. Page of Wands. Interesting, but not really. Because I just noticed the Ten of Wands is here, but look, you're only holding one wand. One wand. One wand. You go from ten to one, which is a new, exciting, passionate new beginning. That's what you guys are starting here. What is with this Emperor? And this person is very generous, passionate. Yep. And that's you. From my females. This is definitely your spouse, your partner. You know, I think maybe something happened in the past. Yeah, you were stuck, overthinking. Eight of Swords reversed. Now you're not. This would be, you know, stuck in your head. Worrying, fear. This person or you has no more fear. They're taking the risk and they're going, they're, they're going for it. And it's definitely something to do with the past. Or reconciliation. One more on the Page of Wands because I, the Page of Wands is there twice. Seven of Cups. You definitely were confused. Or they were. But they're not anymore. They want a new beginning. And they are coming through as really... Emotional. But yet fiery, passionate, generous... I think it's somebody that's been thinking about coming back from the past for a while. Whether it's you or them. No matter how you spin it, it's great. For all of you, I mean, emotionally, you're very, very, very happy. With your family, your love life, reconciling with someone. And you're not worried about it anymore. They're not, wow, and the Ace of Pentacles is under that. Like literally starting a new life, getting out of your head and starting completely all over, moving in together. Great reading, Gemini. If it didn't resonate, you know, definitely watch your other signs. 
And again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, um, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you guys back here really, really soon. Bye.